Attorneys representing some of those who blocked the Bay Bridge last fall to protest the Israel-Hamas war are now urging San Francisco's district attorney to drop all of the charges. The attorneys for the so-called Bay Bridge 78 say the district attorney's office has a pattern of anti-Palestinian bias and they're calling on her to drop the cases. KTVU's Christian Kaftan has more. Police arrested dozens of protesters in mid-November following a protest against the Israel-Hamas war that brought traffic to a standstill on the San Francisco Bay Bridge. Now, dozens of those protesters are facing misdemeanor charges of unlawful public assembly, false imprisonment, refusing to comply with a peace officer, failure to disperse, and obstruction of a roadway. Now their attorneys have sent a letter to San Francisco's district attorney, Brooke Jenkins, urging her to drop those charges, raising concerns about, quote, a pattern of anti-Palestinian racism in her office. We're worried that it permeates the office, this bias. I think that the manner in which these cases were charged shows that they're overcharged. And there really is no point in pursuing this prosecution. The attorneys point to comments made by a prosecutor who reportedly sent emails with anti-Palestinian language. And the attorneys say the district attorney herself mischaracterized another protest as being pro-Hamas. It speaks to a pattern of anti-Palestinian Islamophobic bias in Brooke Jenkins' office. So what we're asking is simply for her to dismiss the charges against the Bay Bridge 78. The district attorney's office has responded, saying the prosecutor who made the comments does not reflect the views of the district attorney's office and that there is zero tolerance for bias of any sort in their charging decisions or how they handle cases. The accused are due back in court in mid-March where attorneys will attempt to have the case thrown out saying the prosecution hasn't laid out exactly who the victims were in the November protest. Their attorneys say they could raise the issue of bias in the DA's office in court somewhere down the road. In San Francisco, Christian Kaftan, KTVU, Fox 2 News.